the decisions I made in my life, I think, you know, is having an idea and going after it. I loved drawing since I was a kid. And then as I got into surfing, you know, I had this one Surfer's Journal magazine. So I'd look at all these different boards and draw surfboard fins or how the board was going to look when it was finished. It just kind of slowly has grown and now uh, it sent them all over the world. Korea, Japan, Nicaragua, Peru, and all over. My uncle, he's a fine oil painter. So he kind of taught me that like it's possible to become an artist. I would watch one of those surf movies from the 50s with Tyler and he could name all the surfers in the background by their style. He's the one that I learned to shape from. This is his life. He like eats, lives and breathes it. Looking at people like that have made their life out of what they love, you know, those are my teachers. Those are the people I looked up to. Surfing, shaping, and art, they're all about my favorite times. And doing all those things is where you're like zoned in and you're just kind of almost not even there and you're just doing it. You're definitely like in a meditative state when you're in a shaping room, you know, it's just you and these four walls and two lights and some sandpaper. You slowly like learn from every board you make about the rails or bottom contours or not putting too much roll here, more edge there, flatter here, more rocker there. That's what it's about, doing it over and over and over again. He shaped now 2,000 boards. That's yeah. what my uncle always said. He's like, you don't want to be one of those artists who goes to the coffee shop and just talks about what they're going to do or whatever. You got to actually like work and put the time in and just keep doing it. You're definitely putting all that knowledge into this board. You're sharing your feeling with someone else that gets to go ride a wave. The stuff I'm most inspired by are those natural, serene moments where you feel maybe alone, but there's like a warmth or trueness about the moment. You know, whether it be nature or an empty wave going by. The water's one of those things that, you know, you can get in it and you feel better. Kind of cleansing to the soul in a way, I guess. You get to subconsciously do these things on this wave. You're just doing it because that's what you feel like you're supposed to do. You're just in the moment and you just kind of react off what is thrown at you. You gotta start somewhere and if you really put like 110% into everything you do, it will start working out. Fame and fortune could never be your objective. That it has to be to do great work. And I believe Tyler has always tried to do great work. Heaven knows that's what we need in the world. I think there's definitely plenty of space out there for people that want to do their own thing and not really conform to the normal like for your university and then go find a job. I think, you know, the best thing you can do is be true to yourself and that's all that really matters in the end. Following that pure love inside of you.